Hello, I'm Catherine Shapiro and I teach Pilates at HSS. Though Pilates is considered to be a sort of more mild and low impact form of exercise, like any other activity, you will need good biomechanics to exercise safely. If you have an older body, an injured body, or just new to exercise, you're gonna need some foundational skills, some basic foundational skills and understanding that will help you work more safely. And we're going to cover those, uh, some of those in these videos. Today, we're going to focus on the most basic thing, which is our starting position and something we call neutral pelvis. Neutral pelvis is just a term to describe a balanced pelvis. And what is a balanced pelvis? Lower abdomen engaged, normal lumbar curve of the spine. Many of us either stand in too much anterior tilt and sort of tipping the pelvis back, or too much posterior tilt and tucking under. This particular I see quite a bit where people flatten the back to the floor. I'm getting some tension in my hamstrings some pulling in the front of the hips, pulling forward in the shoulders, just and most importantly, the deep multifidus muscles are not able to do their job. Okay, so we're going to use a couple of sort of playful techniques to get more familiar with the pelvis and where it is in space and how to find that neutral. Okay, so starting lying on your back, at first, I'm going to take my hands and find these bony landmarks here. You feel the sort of the ridge here, my pelvis. You feel that bones of the pelvic bowl, right? And so that's that's the first landmark we need. And then we need to get into the lower abdomen. So if you take your hands in this diamond shape, put your thumb in your belly button, and then the hands lie flat. Now I'm within the pelvic bowl. And right here is where you will want to brace your lower abdomen. I brace by slightly drawing back and slightly scooping up. So it's a slightly back and up scoop feeling in the belly. But when I do that, I do not, I'm not flattening my back. I'm keeping that normal lumbar curve. Lower abdomen braced, normal lumbar curve. One of the things we do to get a little bit more awareness of the pelvis and its position is an exercise we call clocking. So if you imagine, I'm going to use this as an imaginary clock face, well, it's round clock face, right? So I'm just going to put it like this. So I'm going to go with my pelvis, I'm going to go around the clock face, all the way around. So as I come here, I'm going to go to one, two, three, four, five, and six. At the bottom, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then I'm going counterclockwise. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to twelve. Okay, and I'm looking to settle where there's a balanced clock face. So I'm not tipping right to left, not tipping forward and back, and I have this balance here. That's your neutral pelvis. So after you've located these bony landmarks and shift a little side to side and kind of go around the clock a few times, when you find the center, Put that diamond back in your belly and slightly brace the belly. When we begin moving our bodies, we will have to work harder here to keep the pelvis stable. As I lift one leg up, it's challenging my core muscles. Right? There's a tendency that I might shift to the right as I pick up the right leg or tip to the left if I pick up the left leg. Right, so I want to be able to support the weight of the legs with neutral pelvis. So take a little time, lie down on the ground, 
locate these little bony landmarks here. Put your diamond in the belly, try to brace back and practice tipping side to side, forward and back, going around the clock, getting more familiar with that neutral pelvis, lower abdomen, braced, normal lumbar curve. And that will get us started. And then come back for our next video where we'll start moving with neutral pelvis. Thank you for joining me for in injury prevention and Pilates. Have a great day.